man, man. You, you think you are so tough. Tough, 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 tough. What's tough about being non-vegan? Nothing. Because when you are actually are non-vegan, you are paying for the suffering of innocent living beings who don't can defend themselves. That's like uh, be a bully in high school. There's nothing tough about being a bully. Do you know what is tough? Standing up against the bully. That's tough. Not uh, standing next to the bully and say, Yeah, Asia, stupid. When the bully says somebody is stupid. Then you are a pushover. Then you are not a tough guy, mate. True tough man stand up against systematic oppression. And they don't care about what some uh, group of their male bodies think. Because they don't need improvement from, from the pairs. Because they have themselves enough respect for themselves to stand on their own feet. And form their own opinions about stuff. And use that grey matter in the heart instead of believing absurdities and committing atrocities because their own little ego does not allow them to admit when they are wrong. A true, modest, civilized man actually, actually does not excuse rape does not excuse old outdated habits and they're also are not afraid to stand up against the masses when the masses are wrong they are not afraid to admit that when they have made the mistake because anybody makes sometimes They're also not afraid to express themselves in their own way, to be different. They don't need to get a group certification. And they are a vegan. Because veganism is standing up against systematic oppression. Yes, and animals are the most oppressed group of living beings ever on this planet. There are killed around 70 billion land animals in a year. And around 2.8 trillion marine animals. That's far more than there have ever lived members of our own species. So. Be careful for throwing stones in somebody's glass house. Just because you don't like the things I say. Maybe you do. Maybe you do not. I don't know. Does not mean that I am wrong. Peace begins on the dinner table. Well, what you eat on a daily basis. And a civilized man will cause the least amount of harm possible on this planet. And not be a douche. When darkness and light become one, well, the reality splinter away. And the truth become visible.
when you are suffering on your deathbed. Let the words of Purgatory Matthew Scully ring in your eyes. When you are asking for mercy. How can you ask for something you are not willing to give? Mercy. Now you will feel how it feels to be treated like nothing. Like your life does not matter at all. What it does. Go figure. What's the excuse for causing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? Stop being a narcissist.